Hey, I'm Gabe Camarillo, Fox 26 sports reporter. Today, Fresno State announced the new athletic director is Garrett Classy, who comes from the University of Houston. Here are five things to know about Classy and how he can help Fresno State. First, he is an innovator. He created or helped create the Huskers Athletic Partners, the in-house agency that manages Nebraska's multimedia rights and radio network. So other colleges typically use third parties like Learfield, IMG College. This is actually different for Nebraska. They, because of the help of Classy, have kept everything in-house. In fact, they're the only Power 5 school to bring its media rights entirely in-house, which means they keep broadcasting rights money, advertising money, sponsorship money, signage money. That is a big part of their revenue stream. And he was a big part of building that. So he's an innovator. One of the first, not just one of the first Power 5 school to do that is Classy's former school, Nebraska. Second thing to know about him, he makes money. Uh, that is where there is money. And there was a lot of money at Houston. He was most recently there as the deputy athletics director and chief revenue officer. Spent a year there before coming to Fresno State. But I really think this time at Nebraska says a lot about him. It's probably the most impressive part of his resume. Uh, let's look at some of the numbers, okay? He helped with two parts. The naming rights that make a lot of money, the broadcasting stuff that we'll get to in a moment and the donations. Looking at Nebraska's 22-23 revenue pie chart, 48 million came from media rights. That's probably not the number that would have been if it was done in part with IMG College, and then 60 million with donations. Now, obviously, Nebraska has a lot of alumni, a lot of people wanting to see them get back to their glory days. That's why I added the amendum, he makes money where there is money. But the fact that he was able to rally that much, and look at the pie chart again. None of that came from direct institutional support, whereas Fresno State relies a, a good chunk on direct institutional support. It came from donations. Most came from donations. Media rights was second. Ticket sales. He started his time as a college employee as selling tickets at Wisconsin and Oregon. So he's very well versed in money. And why am I talking about money so much? Because look at where Fresno State is at in the Mountain West. This is according to Sportico College Finance Database. They're 10th in the conference in revenue uh, behind Nevada, behind Hawaii. San Diego State's number one, way ahead of Fresno State. I'm saying this because right, these are the rivals on the field for Fresno State. Making this move to get a Garrett Classy is an attempt at shortening that gap. Uh, moving on more about Classy. Third thing to know about him, he was part of a conference move. He helped Houston go to the Big 12 from the American Athletic Conference. His role was to help plan, amend, and execute that move. So he is familiar with that, and that's good for Fresno State because that's the hope one day for many fans here, that they end up in a Big 12-type conference. Fourth thing to know about him, he's very familiar with the NIL space. He is a guy that helped create NIL Nebraska, which is a program at Nebraska that helps educate the student athletes there about what they can achieve through name, image, and likeness, how much money they can make. And that's going to be something that never goes away. Good to have someone well-versed in it. Fifth thing you should know, he is part agriculture, right? He actually comes from a background as a farmer, waking up at 5.30 a.m. His, his youth was spent on a dairy farm. So that's something that I'm sure will resonate to a lot of the Central Valley residents. And did I mention that he makes money? Uh, before all this, Power 5, stuff before he was at Nebraska, before he was at Houston, at the University of Illinois, Chicago, he helped create a naming rights deal where for 15 years, uh, the school made $9.3 million by naming UIC Pavilion Credit Union One Arena. And, and part of that went to student athletes. $750,000, according to the Chicago Tribune, went to student athletes. So I just wanted to close on that because it shows that he is about helping the school elevate itself a bit, but he's also about the school's student athletes, making sure that they have a comfortable life. And I'm pretty sure that might've been the number one reason. So he meant to Sandoval chose Garrett Kalassi for the next Fresno State athletic director position.